Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. Now usually in this game you have an expansive map where you can build anywhere you want to. You can build huge sprawling cities that cover the mountain sides and everything. But today, rather than using this entire area, we're going to be limiting ourselves to just this single starting grid. And of course we're starting off with no mods, no infinite money, no infinite demand. So we're going to be doing this legit. And a very quick one to any beaver engineering fans out there. Today is the last day you can get this limited edition plushie. So don't miss out. Anyway, uh, and since I want to make the most of space, I oh, hate me to say this as a Brit, but I feel like I probably want to do like a grid pattern with my roads. Do I lose these highways? Or maybe I actually want to, maybe I want the highway as like an artillery, like all the way around my grid. Yeah, either way though, we haven't actually unlocked highways yet so i can't do any of that now so i probably just want something sort of temporary ish um, and by the way in case you're confused i'm actually i'm doing left hand driving for a change because i am a brit it's what i know uh, but yeah i will be doing grids so don't worry american people uh, you should still find some comfort in this so i mean i should probably start off with like the edge grid first right so that's something i can't change so i could put my first road to there it'll cost eight thousand quid <laughs> That's like over 10% of my money. Right, but before we build that, it's worth noting as we as we build these roads, can you see we get the grid? So that's what we can build our buildings on. You can see they're four squares wide. Uh, so what I want to do is just make sure we're building in the right place. So if I do like, I don't know, if we get the edge of our circle just to touch that line or not even touch it like that, then, oh yeah, can you see there's only three there? So that is too close. So if we come back a little bit like that, perhaps. There you go. So that has four. So I think if I do four down this end as well. So nice. We've got four on that corner, four on that corner. I'm going to go down to here. And basically, I'm just putting like sort of temporary sort of grid marks in just so we know where we're building to. And we just got to do the same along this highway, making sure we're like pretty parallel with it. So up to there, we got the four grids. Nice. Right. So I think we're pretty good now. I've got some edges marked up. We spent quite a bit on that, like just over nine grand. And uh, really, I need to be focusing on the essentials like electricity which do we want to do wind turbines i think we'll do wind turbines now nah, wind turbines they use up too much space we're gonna we're gonna need we're gonna need coal power so the question is where do we want the industrial part of this city to be i mean probably ideally like over over on this side so i need to do i need to build a bridge straight away I tell you what let's just build a road straight to i guess to there ish can we do a perfectly perpendicular um that's not quite perpendicular oh well Right, so over this side will be industrial. So we put a bit of road in. I've just got to try and build this so that we don't keep building bridges everywhere. For some reason, it wants to... Why do you want to build a bridge there? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Right, okay, managed to get that work. So we have some roads in. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to build our power plant, which is 19 grand. That is not cheap. We'll then need to get power across the way. So I guess we'll take some pylons over to there-ish. Yeah, we'll then just unpause and see. Okay, water's flowing from right to left. So water pumping station will go on. So that fits in that gap nicely. And then downstream, we'll do the sewage. And then we need pipes going over to this side. But, uh, oh, that is another grand. Okay, we're running out of money fast. So then finally, we can just paint these in with residential. So we go boosh, boosh. Then we can press play. And then hopefully, things should start being built from down this end. Yes, they are. Okay, so that's good. Houses are going in. There will shortly be a demand for industrial, so people have places to work. So let's get some industrial on the go up here. All right, nice. Houses are being built. And it should mean our income should start going up because all these residents will be paying tax. Uh, the question I have, where, 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 where is everyone? Where's, <laughs> oh my God, look, look at all those people. So that's how people get to cities. They literally, why do they come in by foot? Oh, look, they got dogs. They've got dogs and the dogs drive the people to the city. Okay, I get it. I finally understand now. Okay, nice. That's good. There's a need for commercial. So I guess people need, they need like places to shop and stuff, don't they? Um, so ideally, I want to do that without building any new roads. So what I might do, I might just out like a little gap and then we'll make that commercial so here they come the first few shops all right so looking down here we've got people of all types moving in we've got people that drive jeeps 
hippie mobiles. We got like super sports cars. We got dog walkers. You see people using the bridge to get to work. I'm a bit worried about how fast that water is flowing though. Like, like that bridge has got to be pretty strong to withhold that sort of current. Still in our demands, you can see there's a medium demand for office or industry. So I might do like another strip here. Okay, so, so far this is going pretty well in my opinion. I think we're, yeah, population is growing. We're nearly up to 300 people. We're nearly about to break even on the weekly budget. Yes, we're making money finally. Oh, and look, demand is rising for residential and for industry. Might be worth sort of trying to get like, if I could do something like that, then we should just be able to follow this line to get some more space. Oh, and then we've just reached Little Hamlet, a population of 440. So we can now change our taxes, get some loans. We've also got garbage and healthcare and education. Nice. So first, let me just find a way to connect this up. I think if I take a road from there, sort of this way, then down there, then that's connected. We can expand that as needed and then grid up like the in-between. I want to do a road behind there. I want to do that sort of thing. Now you can see on the pipes, half of that is covered by the area. So if I just paint like this side only, we should be good. So that should start expanding over this way. We really, we really need some residential areas. So it might be worth connecting that road up. But why are you doing the stupid bridge thing game? I mean, weirdly, I can go over this way, but uh, then that's a little bit messed up. So what if I... Oh, it, just, it just wants to bridge everywhere. This game loves bridges. <laughs> well, I guess for now, we're going to have the world's most pointless bridge to enter the city. Fair enough. But yeah, we've got to try and fill in the space behind here. So it looks like a single road would fit really nicely, to be fair. If we did a new road, like, I'm scared of going too far in case it, like, bridges is it but no that worked pretty well that worked pretty well okay we'll do that and then again looking at the drainage we've got the bottom side so let's just paint all of that in so paint all of that lovely jubbly it might be worth getting some schools in so i can shove one maybe one in there before the houses get built and oh, then we really need some commercial as well so hang on a sec let's get some drainage to the back road yeah i'm doing this like semi-realistically so we will keep this under the highway but then now we can paint some commercial so i think i'm just going to do like commercial hubs basically maybe this corner could be commercial as well actually okay the good news is that we are making in some fat cash. We're making like a grand a week now. now. The bad news is we haven't got any of these amenities and everyone's starting to get a bit rubbishy. So what does a landfill site cost? It's... Oh, it's only four grand. Okay, we'll build one of these over in the industrial area. We'll bring that there. Then we should see loads and loads of trucks leaving. If we just turn the speed up. Yeah, there they go. There they go. Oh my goodness. The water's... The... <laughs> The water's a bit rough today. No, no, no. That's not going to flood us, is it? Oh, that was close. Why is the water like that on this level? I don't know. Anyway, we got to get got to get more buildings in, more residential. Now we're a bit short of drainage as well over here. So let's just, I just do a pipe along there and then connect it up that way. Yes, there's pipes on the people's houses, but we're now a worthy village, which means, oh, we could take a second loan if we wanted to. Haven't even taken a first yet, but uh, that little boost gave us some extra cash. We got 20 grand. So yeah, I reckon let's start investing in like schools and stuff. I think that's a good spot. We probably want some health so people don't start dying or over the place. All right, so this is how we're looking so far. Everything's going pretty well. Although, what is that? An abandoned building? Why did someone abandon that ball? It was an ice cube factory. Well, I tell you what, you're meant to be making cubes. You're obviously making spheres, you idiots. Anyway, we delete that. Another business should grow there. All right, then we just keep building what the people want. And they want commercial areas. So there we go. Cash is flying now as well. Uh, that will start to go down as we build like the, the emergency services and police and stuff. And um, so maybe before we do that, we should invest in like another row of houses because that's going to be pretty pricey. So let's sort of plan out where we want our highway to go. I think it's just going to go like just over that way a bit. We'll probably curve round at some point. But then we want a straight all the way down there. Um, I am going to have to demolish some houses though just to connect this up. So I do apologize people there. But um, 
Yeah, that's a good spot, I think. So I think how I'm going to keep this like a sort of sensible British solution while still doing the, the grid pattern that we're not a big fan of over here. I'm going to make sure there's no crossroads. So there's only going to be these T junctions, which in my opinion are a lot safer. So if we do like, yeah, that sort of thing, that should work quite well. Maybe I can add another grid while I'm here. And we just do the odd link arm that isn't a crossroad like that. Realize we've spent all of our money and now can't afford to put drainage underneath but thankfully see we do have a strip ready to go so let's just paint that up in residential now whilst leaving a few commercial gaps particularly at this end as well okay next up oh no look there's burglars but it's okay we got interrupted we are now a tiny town 1400 population we have parks and landscaping now Ooh. but yeah we need to get police because basically all of our industries they're all being burgled so police station i'll probably need one over this side i guess and then another one for the residential. Because, yeah, look, everyone's being burgled. Crime is rife. I'll tell you what, two birds, one stone. Let's... <laughs> Let's demolish a burgled house because then that helps the crime statistics in the area. Right, this is good. With my extra money, I'm going to lay some pipes down. So I think we'll go under this road. It's time to satisfy some demands. Oh, yeah. Get satisfied, people. Yes, you like that, don't you? You like that. Oh, people complaining about power. Oh, no, there's a fire. There's a fire. There is a fire. I should have invested. How much do I need again? 12 grand. Okay, we're close. We're close. We're just waiting for everyone to pay their tax and then I'll build one. I promise. Right, okay, we've got enough. We've got enough. Right, where do I put this? Where do I put this? I think up there should cover it. All right, so fire engines on your way. You gotta go put the fires out because the fire is spreading like fire. Oh, it's just gone out. It just went out by itself. Never mind. No, oh, the building collapsed. But yeah, I will be a good mayor and I'll delete these manually though. And then we should be. Oh my god, what is going on over here? What is going on with the sea in this level? Oh, please don't. Please don't destroy my like my infrastructure. I really need this. But yeah, anyway, back to being concerned about power. Are we... Oh, we're short on power. I cannot afford another one anytime soon. 19 grand. Can I just not wang the budget up? So if I do 150% more into electricity, then we produce more electricity, right? Where is the power station? It's that one, right? Yeah, so we're now good. The the line's sort of in the green. I mean, it's, it's pretty close to yellow. But for now, we're doing okay. In the meantime, we've got to build more of these. Now, the trouble with building these is more electricity will be required. Uh, but it is what it is. I don't make the rules. I guess we just blindly keep building and hope that that problem goes away. All right, electricity is an issue again. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna build some turbines, I guess. Now these are only gonna be temporary, so I don't really want to buy them, but I'm gonna have to. So let's shove one there. Shove another one next to it as well, just because there's good wind there. I think. So right, electricity is good. Budget not good anymore, but we got demand, so let's keep building more residentials. And now we're a boom town. Nice. Which means we would usually be able to purchase a new area. But not today. We are trapped in our single grid. Oh, wow. Check out the money, though. Check out the money. Okay, time to... I think we need to educate. So we need lots more schools dotted about. We then want some big schools as well, I think. Look at all those happy people that are about to learn. Yeah, and then that's all my money gone. Great. Cheers. Oh, and the electricity is about to be an issue. We're producing 69 megawatts. Nice. But we're using 63, which means shortly we're going to be in trouble again. So I think I'm going to save up for another power power plant. Yeah, something I just found out we've got though. We've got these keys. Oh yeah, so if I add these, oh that fills up the land. Oh, that is good. That is actually quite nice. They don't cut, they cost hardly anything. Oh, that's really useful. Fair play. Right, well that's our rivers completely completely keyed up. Yeah, annoyingly still getting flash floods on this side, but Hey ho, that is what it is. This side though, ready for some roads, I think. All right, so then we just connect all of these junctions straight like that. Uh, then we notice how bad the traffic is here. I think that's because this is the only way for people to get to work. So probably going to need another bridge or two. But first, our electricity consumption is no longer nice. So let's build another power plant. Shove that there. Yeah, let's get another bridge. And again, we don't want to do crossroads, really. I guess if we come from that point, we can go straight across there. Annoyingly, it did end up being a crossroads on this end. But yeah, do what I say, not as I do. Yeah, then we can do a bit more painting, a bit more road building, a bit more drainage. By the way, water's still acting very strange. Uh, I'm seeing 
seeing. I'm seeing a lot of death. I've just realized I completely forgot about that. We need places to bury people. So I need a cemetery somewhere. Okay, we'll shove one there. And then I'll probably need one up for this corner. I haven't expanded this area yet, but I will do. Education. Yeah, gonna need, gonna need more schools. People that always want to learn. And it's just a case of keep painting everything up. Oh no, oh no, we've got drainage, we've got drainage issues. There's not enough water and there's not enough poo outlets. Okay, so we'll shove another water inlet there. We'll congratulate ourselves for being a busy town. Shove another outlet there. Yeah, there you go. Poo's coming out. Nice, very nice. Uh, shall I see what people are thinking? What are they thinking? The mayor is doing well leading this city. New citizens and businesses keep moving in. Nice. I wish our city would have more parks. Oh, that is a shout. I did actually leave some like nice big green areas down here. So let's shove a park in there. Watch the happiness spread. There we get a big park down here. Yeah, let's do that. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to get some waterfront properties on the go. We'll see if people actually move in there. I mean, judging from the water levels at times, I probably wouldn't like <laughs> My industrial area is underwater. All right, so people did actually end up building here. We have just had a flood, which, oh my goodness, it's flooded like the entire city. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know what's going on with the tidal surges. Like, I did not cause any of this. I, there's nothing out here. I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. But you can see how well, how vicious it was, really. Um, you can also see how far we've expanded. So we've got, like, all of that gridded up now. I did take out a loan in order to build all of these roads. I just wanted to get ahead. Um, and then I'm slowly just going through as demand requires. And uh, just painting these up so that people start building their houses. The only thing is, I gotta remember every so often we need to do like the schools and stuff. Oh yeah. So let's give these people schools so we don't end up with a world of architects. But nice. Traffic doesn't seem to be too bad either. I mean, maybe coming into my town's not ideal. Probably should work on that. But like the rest of it, considering it's a grid pattern, I'm pretty impressed. I think not doing crossroads has really helped. Uh, the other thing worth noting, this this garbage landfill site, is there's no more room in it. So I built one next door. And I'm hoping we'll unlock the incineration plant soon. What do we need? 8,000 population to get that. So yeah, we're, we're a little way off, but uh, we've still got loads of space to build. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I just spent a bit of time building all of these roads roads. Uh, look, I even, I even drainage them up as well. Uh, and I noticed down here, look, we've now got the high density residential, commercial and the office zones as well. So there's medium demand for commercial. So let's get some high density ones. I'm sort of thinking maybe we have like a big strip. So electricity is low. So let's get, oh, we're gonna have to have another coal plant. Shove that on that corner. There you go. We're back in the green on electricity. Um, ooh, look at the high density stuff. Nice. Man, so much advertising. Advertising. So, oh, what are they? Oh, they're, they're coffee beans. I thought they were something. Else. Never mind. So I reckon for a bit, we just do the high density. I feel like doing some, like, I feel like I've catered for like a lot of rich people with the low density housing, like on the edge. Like they've got a wicked guard. I mean, you wouldn't want to play football. You might, you might lose a ball over that. But uh, since we have a medium demand for residential, let's get some high density along this edge. Oh, they've got, wait, you've got... <laughs> You got parking on the wrong side of your building. How, how are you meant to get to that parking? Oh, we have clearly started hiring architects. That is the trouble when you start getting to a city this size. You need all the help you can get. So sometimes you actually need to hire architects and therefore mistakes get made. Look how fast that water's going. I would not like want to wake up like get out the balcony and just look out at that. Right, so as we expand those, it's worth noting I've now unlocked the incineration plant. So I'm going to replace, well, I sort of need to replace everything with them. So let's just shove shove one there. Maybe maybe another one next to it. Do it all in the same place. Oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. But that should sort of start solving the rubbish problem. Because look how big this city is already. It is awesome. It's only been it's only been running three years. But yeah, this is filling up nicely. We got a few little gaps. Like I've got all of this segment up here. That could make like a nice little office zone. So I reckon we'll come off this corner. If we come off like 45 degrees, head over that way upwards. Nice 
bridge over the motorway. Then down here, we can have loads, loads of office space. Oh, look, we're a small city now. So we've got, oh, we've got trains, we've got cable cars, loads of good stuff. So offices everywhere down here, please. We then just need more residential, more commercial. And check out the money, 170 grand, right? Garbage processing is bad. Oh, can I get this? A recycling center? That would be good, wouldn't it? I'm going to put two right next to the next to the actual landfill. I'll shove another incinerator over this way. Uh, more electricity. I mean, we could get a hydro power plant. Like the current on this thing. I mean, we could. We actually could. The question is, though, is should. What's that going to produce? 64 megawatts for 84 grand. What does this do? 19 grand for 40 megawatts. Or well, the solar updraft. Oh, that is good. 240. Okay, we're going to have to shove one of these in somewhere. Let's go there. That is going to give us some serious energy. All right, then we're pretty good. There's hardly any warning signs. So I'm just going to I'm just going to keep on building. All right, so I think we're done. I've even I've even put like posh old bridges in. Look, we got some arch bridge. Look at all the chimneys. <laughs> Oh dear. You got nice truss bridges going over the poo underneath. Very, very nice. Over this way, we got some like tall areas with like stadiums and yeah, not looking bad at all. I am now a millionaire, by the way. A population only 37,000. I thought it'd be more by now. Like, look at this place. Oh, yes. Let's look at this without any HUD. Look how decent it is. Like, you literally go from completely empty landscape to completely full one. <laughs> Now, I really, I didn't realize, like, how big this, like, tile is. But uh, this is by far my most successful city. I mean, look at the queues of people trying to get in. And that's how good it is. I put an arch in so it looks all nice. Oh, man, look down. It looks so cool. I've never, like, built, like, a busy city before. Look how many people there are. Look how many donut trucks there are. Look, over this way, we've got all the big skyscrapers. And hang on, what's that? What is that? Is that a product of architecture? And hang on, what's that behind it? Why, why is there a hole in this building? Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not standing for that. I was I was all proud of this place. I was all proud of one tile, as I like to call it. Get it? One tile. Anyway, you leave me no choice but to earthquake these, because I know they're a product of architecture. They won't be able to stand an earthquake. Oh, it's shaking viciously. Yes. Yes, it's on fire. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, architecture from a city. That, that will teach you, you must burn. Oh, look. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Why did an earthquake do that? It's created a tsunami. <laughs> oh, and the worst thing is it put out the it put out the fire. The architecture is actually fine because it's on stilts. Meanwhile, bridges are going down. Everything else is going underwater. Oh, what a disaster. What a disaster. And the building with a hole in is still standing as well. Right. Anyway, guys, on that absolutely disastrous end, I will say peace, love, and one-tile towns. Bye.